So what do you think Shell does? <laughs> it all holds it out, right? Right. <clears throat> so what would you use shell for? Sheet metal. Okay, sheet metal stuff. You do the outside, you can shell it, and then you can convert it to sheet metal. What else? What were you drawing yesterday? Oh, the pipes. Pipes? <laughs> Tubing. You draw it. So if you're doing like rectangular right tubing, you extrude it, just put some felts on it, do a shell, and now you've got a piece of empty tubing. Or like he was doing a, a pipe assembly. Probably not going to draw each of those parts separately. You're probably going to draw, draw the whole thing together. So you can draw the whole thing as cylinders, and then shell it, and then that way you'll have the nice emptiness in the inside. It's not going to be, you're not going to have to try and cut out each piece of pipe to fit it together. Um, <clears throat> So I'll go to shell, and if I just shell this with 0.1, did it do anything? No. But can you see, you know, you can see my edges here? So it hollowed it, it out. It hollowed it out, but I can't see into it. So part of the shell is this, this section here. This is faces to remove. So these are faces that aren't going to get shelled, and so that means this can be open when it's done. So if I do that and I remove this bottom face, now I get that. So now that, that it didn't shell that face, so it just kind of comes out. I can also tell that I want to shell outward. What that does is instead of Give me the thickness on the inside, it's going to give me the thickness on the outside. So, that's one thing I can't undo. So, shell outside would fix this and it goes the other way. Why would you do that? Why would you want to shell it outside? into something. So if you had drawn mold making. Yeah, mold making. So if you draw your part and you make the mold, you'd show outward to make the mold. Or if you're doing like blister packs or something like that, you draw the product and you show outward to get the finished product. Most of the time you do inward though. <clears throat> we also down here have multi thickness. So now I can pick this face and tell that face that I want it to be 0.2. So you can see this face is thicker than that face. So I don't know when you would use that. You might use it for little things, but like in plastics, you always want that same thickness. Uh, sheet metal, you can't do that. Um, mold making, you probably just add some filler behind it anyways. So I don't know when you would use that. Uh, So just holding shift and clicking on it will unselect it. So that's shell. So the next one, let's do this fillet. So fillet, we have a few options. We have a constant radius fillet, which is your standard fillet that everyone knows and loves. We have a variable radius fillet. We're now at different points along the edge, it can be different radiuses. <clears throat> we have a face fillet and a full round fillet. So I'm going to do a constant fillet. I'm just going to pick here and pick on that edge and that edge and say OK. Actually, I'm going to have to change the size button. Look at my inside. Did that, is that what I really want there? No. no. So watch. Just gonna take that fillet, drag it above the shell. 
Now is that what I want? Would you just do that? What? Drag, you just do, drag the fillet above I just the drag the fillet above the shell. Because okay. now the fillet happens before the shell happens, so now it'll incorporate that into it. So that's where that order matters. Because the fillet didn't rely on the shell, I could do that. If I had filleted the inside edge of the shell, I could not drag it above. Because it's dependent on that other thing. So same thing here. Like the, the full round fillet, it asks for three faces. So I'm going to pick face one for the middle section, for that, the section, for that. And it's going to figure out what fillet goes in there. I don't need to tell the radius because it knows it needs to be tangent, tangent, tangent. And it's just going to fill it in. But again, that's not right, so I just drag it above. And then here, let's say I wanted to fill it here between these two faces. How can I do that? Can I pick an edge? So can I go in and pick that edge? Kind of, but that's not what I want, is it? I want to go from this face to that face. So what, what do you think I should do? Oh, that face fillet. Think that might do it? I've got a face fillet. Now I can pick those two faces. I want to pick it in opposing things. Say, okay, now it puts it in. And it fills in whatever's behind it. So that's a real handy one sometimes. So go ahead, go ahead and do that. Do the shell, add a couple fillets, do the, do the full round, and do the face fillet.